For 46 years, he presided over Sesheke, Mwandi, and Mulovezi districts in the western province. Senior Chief Inyamboyeta reigned from his palace in Mwandi and was one of the senior members of the Barose Royal Establishment. He was the son of Eritunga and was installed in Mwandi in 1977 at the age of 23. Over his four-decade reign, he was instrumental in promoting unity among residents of the three districts. Uh, he was a family man and um, a very, very good exemplary leader worth emulating. He lived a decent life. He was very firm and strict um, and um, easy to go along with. Senior Chief Inyamboyeta was also a politician. In the 1990s, he served as Vice President of the United National Independence Party, UNIP, and his attempts to contest the 1996 presidential elections hit a snag as the government of the day passed a law to bar chiefs from active politics. Later, he played a key role in the constitution-making process in the late 1990s and early 2000s. I also remember him fondly over Bill 10. Okay. He's one of the few uh, traditional chiefs who encouraged us as UPND members of parliament not to falter. Another attribute senior chief Inyamboyeta had was that of being an environmentalist. He is the brains behind the Simalaha Conservancy, which stretches from Kazungula to Mwandi districts. As a senior chief in charge of the court in Mwandi, which is locally known as Kuta in Lozi, the late chief reported to the Ritunga in Lealui and was responsible for presiding over the three districts on behalf of the Barose Royal Establishment. Paul Sharala, ZNBC News in Lusaka.